What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we're going to be doing the second episode of If Mattel Let Me Pick an Elite Line and this time we're going to be doing all flashbacks. Last time we did no flashbacks. It was all going to be current roster guys. We had a really cool elite lineup. You guys liked that video a lot. So we're going to be doing all flashbacks this time. This means you know any of you guys from the Ruthless Aggression Era, Attitude Era, any era before that are eligible for this video and um, so yeah that's gonna be pretty much it guys let's go ahead and get into this elite lineup so the first figure that we have in my elite lineup that is all flashbacks guys I would go with this Kurt Angle from the early 2000s this was made by Scribble Customs absolute animal of a customizer you guys should follow him on Instagram if you're not already I really love this attire I think my boy hey Zeus on Instagram has this figure or he has one made by somebody else maybe Jay rain or something but this this attire is so beautiful I love the head scan choice he used this is a Jax head scan on a Mattel body and this is like a Bret, ha Bret Hart style body instead of you know the one that Mattel gave us with Kurt Angle which is kind of Jack you know a little bit exaggerated and um, this one probably works better I think a lot of people would prefer this body mold for Kurt Angle or something in between maybe the X-Pac body mold would work better than the one they give him. I feel like the one they give him is a slight bit too big, but I still think the figures that they use for Kurt Angle and the, the torso size and everything works well, but I would rather have this attire. I think this is so beautiful. I love the team angle, don't get me wrong, but I think that if I were to create my own lineup, since we already have that team angle, I would totally add this white attire. Absolutely beautiful. Could come with the WWE Championship, gold medals, and possibly... Um, a different entrance jacket, maybe the entrance jacket and pants, I don't know, but uh, I, I really do love this attire. The next figure that would be in my flashback series, guys, is an elite Al Snow. You guys know how I feel about Al Snow. I think he was a really underrated talent. I feel like he would have been beautiful to include in the Mattel line. I don't know if he has a deal with Mattel or anything. Like I don't know if they could sign him or create a figure of him. He probably doesn't, or we probably already would have one. But there are a ton of guys out there that we haven't made just yet. But this is a beautiful one from the Job Squad. I love the head scan. I don't know what head scan this is or what hair piece or whatever they used, but this is a perfect Al Snow figure. Of course, I would love for it to come with a head accessory, and I think this would just be a magnificent figure. I think this was made by Angel, the guy that does all of Gene Addy's customs. I think this is who made this. I could be wrong about that, so I apologize if that's not accurate, but I think that is who made this. But what an amazing custom. I, I need to get one made for myself because I, I love Al Snow. Again, I think I've said this before, but I would love to bring him to the Extreme Championship division on MDT Live. I think that would be really cool to see. And yeah, hands down, Al Snow would be one of my top picks. I would love to put him in a flashback series. You know, again, we haven't gotten many flashback series from Mattel here lately. A lot of figures have been current, so I don't know if we'll ever get an Al Snow, but I would love to see it. The next guy that we have, guys, is Lance Storm. Lance Storm from the early Ruthless Aggression or Late Attitude Era, looking absolutely fantastic. I think this is a customizer that's on eBay mainly. He, uh, I don't think he has an Instagram. I think he mainly just makes customs and puts them on eBay to sell, I'm pretty sure. But this is a perfect Lance Storm formula. Maybe the arms are a bit jacked, but... Lance Storm's torso was totally ripped up. He was a jag guy. He was magnificently athletic in the ring. Great technician. And um, yes, I would love to see Lance Storm. I think that he is somebody that a lot of people overlook. I think he had a lot of great... Uh, his in-ring work was absolutely phenomenal. But um, his character work was good too. I mean, he, he just had like that serious face game. Great heel. And um, I think that we need a Lance Storm. I would love to see this made. He would definitely be a great addition to anyone's collection. I think anybody that watched Lance Storm and uh, knows who he is would definitely agree with me that we need him in our collections. And I think that uh, if, if Mattel ends up not giving us one here in the next you know year or so, I'd probably end up getting a custom made myself. Because again, like I said, along with Al Snow, I think that we really do need a Lance Storm. He would fit well into it. And I think that uh, maybe we could use his parts for other things. So Lance Storm would be one guy that I would love to put in a, in a Mattel elite lineup, of course, of all flashbacks. Next up, guys, we have some Kane figures that I would put in my Elite Flashbacks. All three of them are flashbacks, and they are made by my boy Beast Nation 2018 on Instagram, James Fulcher. Really underrated customizer. I believe he won a Dammy Award on Instagram for being the most underrated customizer of the year last year in 2018. So, anyways, this, this figure would definitely be in my flashbacks. I would pick either the one on the left from the King of the Ring 2001 or the one on the right in the red main color there for to, to be the main figure in the set the elite whatever the crap set that it was of all flashbacks and then the one in the middle with the dual sleeves I believe it is debut Kane elite 
I think that would be the chase variant. You know, they usually go further back for the chase variants, or at least that's what it seems like. That is sort of the, the theme there. Um, I would pick that as the chase variant. I think the full sleeve debut cane would be beautiful as a, you know, chase variant. It's the perfect, you know, the Elite 12 is already hard to find. The Hall of Champions re-release um, made that sort of, you know, different. But I think that, you know, a chase variant and that adding to the rareness of an Elite cane I think would be really cool. So I think the chase variant would be the debut cane and then the regular Elite would be um, one of the two on the outside again. I don't really care which ones, but I think that we need more flashback Elite canes, man. We've had many of his recent or you know current runs like we've had plenty of those we've had a few of his you know masks self but i think that we need even more i mean he had some really cool looks back in the day so kane is definitely the next one on my elite list of flashbacks the last two figures in my set guys are matt and jeff hardy from team extreme the hardy boys would be epic. I don't know how we don't have these just yet. Hopefully this year we will get them. 2019 needs to be the year. With the True Effects head scans, man, they, they could totally light these up. I know we got a Jeff Hardy from the Attitude Era with, you know, Edge from, you know, WrestleMania, and it was in the WrestleMania 35 Battle Pack, but that Jeff Hardy figure was not very good, guys. I mean, first of all, it was a basic or a Battle Pack. It's a basic figure, and then you have that head scan that I didn't know what the crap they were doing with it. They made it all red, which is accurate, but it's still just just wasn't right. I don't think anybody really enjoyed that figure like uh, we should. I think that we really do need elites of Jeff and Matt Hardy from Team Extreme in this look right here. And I don't know if we'll ever get it, but Alita flashback. I have one for my personal collection already that's custom made. But I think that Mattel needs to pump out Alita from Team Extreme as well so we can complete all three of them. Uh, I just think that these are highly wanted by a lot of people. You know, ever since they signed, they've pumped out a ton of Jeff and Matt Hardy figures but none from Team Extreme specifically. So I think that this is something that we really do need. Elite flashback Hardy Boys from Team Extreme, all the TLC, TLC moments and stuff. We need to add these to our collection. I think it's a must for 2019, something that I do definitely want to see. So if I if Mattel came to me and said, MDT, make us an elite lineup, these guys will be probably the first two that I put down if it was all flashbacks. And um, if I could pick any out of any figures, current day and flashbacks, these guys would be on there as well. So any figures coming into 2019 that I really, really do want, I actually left these guys out of my 2019 most wanted figures. I need Hardy Boys from the Attitude Era, Team Extreme, and uh, I'd throw Alita in there. Hell, we really do need updated flashback. We've never gotten Dudley Boys that are flashback. We've gotten one set of Edge and Christian, but those were made forever ago in like early Elite Series. So I think that, you know, it's been over like 40 or 50 series since we got an Elite Flashback Edge or an Elite Flashback Christian when you go to the main Elite line. So I think that it's definitely time to get some uh, guys from that era, some tag teams from that era. So I think that the Hardy Boys are the last ones on the list, guys, but I would love to know your thoughts down below. Comment down below what Elite figures you would like to see that are flashbacks, whether they be from the Golden Era, maybe before the Attitude or Ruthless Aggression Era, or guys in there that you would like to see um, please let me know down in the comment section below. What do you think of my picks personally? Do you agree with my list? Who would you add to my list? And what do you think of these awesome customs? I think they look incredible. What do you think? But thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. I'm patiently waiting on my Elite 65 and 66 to get here so we can get some review up, reviews up for you guys. And um, here in the next few days, we are going to be doing WWE Action Figure Surgery Episode 15, which is probably going to be the best and most successful surgery to date. So definitely stay tuned for that. But thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.